six or eight devotees that got to sit in this garden with Prabhupada every afternoon while, for one week while I was in Los Angeles. A ja som bol medzi týmito šiestimi oddanými, ktorí sedeli s Prahopádom celý ten čas, keď bol v Los Angeles. I never even realized my great fortune. There were hundreds of devotees in Los Angeles. A ja som si ani, ani nikdy neuvedomil, aké mám veľké šťastie. V Los Angeles boli stovky oddaných. And somehow or other, by Krishna's mercy, I got to be just four foot right in front of Shiva Prabhupada, just a meter away. A nejakým spôsobom Krišnovou milosťou sa mi podarilo byť veľmi blízko Prahopádovi, iba meter od neho. He's not giving away the book. No, pass it around. Toto je práve ten obrázok zo zahrady. Môžete si to dať kolovať a všetci sa na to pozrieť. So we would just sit and Prabhupada would just sit with us and he would chant Japa. My sme tam iba sedeli, Prahopá sedel s nami a spieval svoje kola. And sometimes he would talk to us. Niekedy s nami začal hovoriť. And it was just so wonderful to see Prabhupada. He was a person. Bolo to také úžasné a vidieť Prahopáda ako osobu. I mean, he was this person from the spiritual world, but he was a person. On bol tá osoba z duchovného sveta, ale bol osoba. And he was just so wonderful. A bol taký úžasný. And not only did I get to sit there, but the first day I sat there, somebody handed me a Krishna book. A nielen, že som tam sedel, ale ten prvý deň, čo som tam sedel, mi niekto podal Krishna knižku. And they said, Prabhupada likes to hear Krishna book and you are going to read it to him. A povedali mi, Prahopád by bol rád, keby mu prečítali z Krišna knižky a budeš s nej čítať ty. So I became the designated Krishna book reader in Prahopád's garden. Takže ja som získal nálepku čítača z Krišna knižky. Right in Vrindavan. It's in Los Angeles, but it's Vrindavan, the spiritual world. Priamo vo Vrindavane. Bolo to síce v Los Angeles, ale bol to Vrindavan, duchovný svet. And it was very interesting because I was the Krishna book reader in New Vrindavan as well. A bolo to veľmi zaujímavé, pretože a ja som bol, a ja som čítal z Krishna knižky a zároveň som bol aj vo Vrindavane. Kirtananda, he would make me every day I had to read a Krishna book story. A Kirtananda chcel, aby som každý deň čítal príbeh z Krishna knižky. I would read it to myself. Ja som si to najskôr čítal sám. And then when all the brahmacharis took rest, I would have to tell them the story. A keď všetci brahmačári si išli odpočinu, tak som im musel hovoriť tie príbehy z Krišna knižky. So now somehow or other I'm in Prabhupada's garden with a Krishna book in my hand. Takže nejakým spôsobom v Prabhupadovej záhrade s Krišna knižkou v mojej ruke. And um, as I said, Prabhupada, he would just sometimes he would just chant Japa. Ako som hovoril, Prahopád niekedy iba spieval svoje kola. And then we would all chant Japa. A potom my všetci sme spievali svoje kola. And then sometimes he would just start talking to us. A niekedy s nami sa začal iba tak len rozprávať. Now imagine, we're all 20 years old, 22 years old, 18 years old. Predstavte si, my všetci sme mali 20, 21, 18 rokov. And the thing that was so nice was Prabhupada liked to be with his disciples so much. A to, čo bolo na tom také pekné, bolo to, že Prabhupád mal veľmi rád, keď bol so svojimi žiakmi. You could see that Prabhupada, he had pleasure in being, seeing his, his, his followers, his children growing up in Krishna consciousness. Bolo vidieť, že Prabhupád má potešenie v tom, že vidí svojich následovníkov, svoje deti, ako rastú v Krishna vedomí. And he would always do things that were just so much fun. So one time he's sitting there, everyone just sitting down on the, on the grass. And Prabhupada looked, just, just six, seven devotees looking at us. He said, so, he said, what color is Krishna? A pýta sa, no tak aký farby je Krishna? And we would all get an anxiety. <laughs> A my sme všetci pocítili úzkosť. 
right? Because it was always when Prabhupada asked a question, it was like a test. Pretože vždy, keď sa Prahopád spýtal nejakú otázku, bolo to ako skúška. Answer, tak si sa báli, že a, ak náhodou poviete zlú odpoveď, tak budete vykopnutí. Thinking, course, thinking, well, a ja som tak rozmýšľal, a Krishna je modrý. Thinking, a rozmýšľal som, prečo sa Prahopád pýta túto otázku. So, so many things will go through your mind. Toľko vecí prišlo do mysle. <laughs> So finally one devotee said he answered him. Konečne jeden oddaný odpovedal. Because he's thinking must be a trick question. <laughs> On si tak myslel, musí to byť nejaká taká taký chytak. So he said Prabhupada is blackish like the rain cloud. Prabhupada on je načernalý ako a dažďový mrak. Prabhupada <laughs> nie. He said he's blue like the sky. Je modrý ako obloha. And Prabhupada point, pointed up to the sky. A Prabhupada ukázal na oblohu. And then he said that's why the sky is blue. A to je ten dôvod prečo je obloha modrá. He said it's reflecting Krishna's bodily effulgence. Ona odráža a žiaru z Krišnoho tela. He said therefore the sky is blue. Preto je obloha modrá. He said so when you see the sky You see Krishna's bodily effulgence. Takže keď vidíte oblohu, vidíte žiar z Krišnoho tela. So imagine, Takže every time you look in the sky, you have to think of Krishna. Predstavte si, vždy, keď sa pozriete na oblohu, musíte si spomenúť na Krišnu. So this is what Prabhupada did. A toto je to, čo nás Prabhupada učil. He made us see Krishna in everything. A on nám ukazoval Krišnu všade. Just looking at the sky, you see the blue sky, you have to think that's Krishna. Stačí, keď sa pozriete na oblohu, vidíte modrú oblohu, spomeniete si, to je Krishna. So we would just sit there and Prabhupada would do these amazing things. Tak my sme tam len tak sedeli a Prabhupada robil tieto úžasné veci. So then I'm sitting there right in front of Prabhupada in the center and I'm holding this Krishna book. Tak ja som tam sedel rovno v strede pred Prabhupádom a držal som Krishna knižku. So then he would just look at me. On sa na mňa pozeral. Go like that. Toto spravil. That meant, now you start reading. A to znamenalo, teraz môže začať čítať. That, that was one thing I learned from Prabhupada very early. To bola a jedna z vecí, ktorú som sa veľmi rýchlo od Prabhupada naučil. Prabhupada never spoke unnecessarily. Prabhupada nikdy a nerozprával, keď to nebolo nevyhnutné. Prabhupada was very economical and, and all of his movements, his words, he just, just did just what was necessary. A Prabhupada bol veľmi šetrný v svojich a, slovách, pohyboch, robil iba to, čo bolo naozaj nevyhnutné. So he wouldn't look at me and say, OK, now you can read from Krishna book. He'd just look at me and nod. Takže nebolo to tak, že by na mňa pozrel a povedal, dobre, teraz môže začať čítať Krishna knižku. On sa na mňa pozrel a prikývol. So then I just got the The Krishna book I was holding my heart beating waiting to read the Prabhupada. A ja som práve držal Krishna knižku a moje srdce tlklo a už očakával, kedy začne čítať. So I started reading this story. A ja som začal čítať tento príbeh. And it was about Krishna and Balaram. Bolo to o Krišnovi a Balaramovi. And demons. A démoni. So I'm reading and everyone's sitting listening. Ja som čítal, každý tam sedel a načúval. And no one's listening more than Srila Prabhupada is. A nikto nenačúval viac ako Srila Prabhupada. And at one point Prabhupada said, I like the cow very much. <laughs> a v jednom momente Srila Prabhupada povedal, ja mám veľmi rád pasačkov. He was so happy hearing this story. Bol taký šťastný, že môže počuť tento príbeh. And I never even, when I'm reading to him, I never even thought, well Prabhupada, wrote this. Prabhupada translated these stories. He was just listening better than any devotee. A, a mňa nikdy a, nenapadlo, že a mňa toto nikdy nenapadlo. Prabhupada naozaj počúval tieto príbehy, ktoré sa napísal lepšie ako ostatní oddaní. But it was so natural that you just never considered here's Srila Prabhupada sitting here listening to Krishna book. Ale ono to bolo také prirodzené a nikdy by vás to ani nenapadlo. Tu sedí a šla Prabhupada a načúva Krišna knižke. And he just loved hearing about Krishna and Balaram and the cowherd boys so much. 
A on miloval načúvať o Krišnovi Balarámovi a pasačkoch. This is a devotee. This is what we want. That this natural Prabhu just loved hearing it. Toto je oddaný, toto je to, čo my chceme. Bolo to prirodzené, Prahupad on to miloval. So then I got up to the point in the story I'm, I'm just reading from Krishna book. Potom som sa dostal už k tej zápletke, čítal som Krišna knižku. And we're all listening. Všetci načúvali. And then all of a sudden I described how Krishna killed this demon. A z ničoho nič som opísal, ako Krišna zabil tohto démona. A keď som to povedal, Prabhupad sa začal smiať a smiať a buchal si do stehie. A samozrejme, každý sa začal smiať, pretože Prabhupad sa smial. And I'm reading and I stopped and I'm laughing with Prabhupada and Prabhupada just sitting there. A ja som čítal a potom som zastal a začal som sa smiať s právom pádom, ktorý tam sedel. A to bolo všetko. Ja som iba chcel vidieť a vždy právom pádom takto sa smiať. Prabhupada was right there in this Krishna book story. He was just right there with Krishna and Balaram. Prabhupada, on tam bol v tom príbehu z Krishna knižky, on tam bol s Krishnom a Balaramom. And it was the most amazing thing to see him sitting there, just laughing. Bolo to tá najúžasnejšia vec, vidieť ho tam sedieť a smiať sa. It was so beautiful. Bolo to nádherné. So I decided... I'm going to just read stories about demons. <laughs> Because Prabhupada was just so wonderful to watch. And I, I just had this idea that if I just read a story about a demon, Prabhupada was going to laugh whenever Krishna killed a demon. A ja som si myslel, že keď teraz začnem čítať príbehy iba do o démonoch, tak Prahupad sa bude vždy smiať, keď bude počuť príbehy o démonoch. And I just wanted to see Prabhupada laugh. A ja som iba chcel vidieť Prahupada, ako sa smeje. Because what could be better than to be in Krishna consciousness and laughing? <laughs> čo môže byť lepšie, ako byť v Krishna vedomí a smiať sa? And to be so happy. Vtedy ste taký šťastný. So the next day, as I said, I used to read Krishna book every day. So the next day I picked my favorite Krishna book story with a demon. Takže a ďalší deň som si vybral môj, môj obľúbený príbeh s démonom. Where the demon gets killed by Krishna or Balaram. A keď ja Krishna a Balaram zabijú démona. And I thought, this will be my story tomorrow. A ja som si myslel, tak tento príbeh zajtra prečítam. So, When we went into the room every day we're going in the Prabhupada's garden every day I got to be there. Každý deň sme chodili do Prahopadovej záhrady, každý deň som tam musel byť. So I got the little the little thing, you know, and I put it in my story. Takže ja som si zobral tú malú záložku a dal som si to do svojho príbehu. And I was so excited I'm sitting in front of Prabhupada. A tak som sa tešil, tak som sa tešil, že sedím pred Šila Pravopádom a už len teda čakám. And my heart's racing more than ever. A moje srdce bušilo ešte viac ako predtým. And I just thought, Pravopád, I just knew, at least I thought I knew, right where Pravopád was going to laugh and laugh more than I ever saw him. I only saw him laugh once. But I thought again, a ja som si myslel, že a viem presne, v ktorom bode sa Prahupad tak začne smiať, ako som ho ešte nikdy nevidel. I was 19 years old. Mal som 19 rokov. Well, now I was 20 years old. Alebo 20. So I had my favorite story. Bol to môj obľúbený príbeh. So who knows? Now if you know it's not fair if you tell me. Who has an idea? What Krishna book story? A kto z vás si myslí, že um, aký to mohol byť príbeh, ktorý som chcel prečítať? Ty čo viete, tak nehovorte, ale ty skúste hádať. 20-ročný chlapec, ktorý príbeh si mohol vybrať. It happens very soon in the story. Something happens. It's very funny. Zápletka, a veľmi a smiešná zápletka sa stane hneď a veľmi na začiatku toho príbehu. Hmm? Yes. So did a gorilla. Ano. Yes, that was my favorite story because he was such a rascal. To bol môj obľúbený príbeh, lebo on bol taký darevák. He was such a 
This big black demon, huh? Bol to veľký čierny démon. Hmm. So for some reason, I just thought Prabhupada would really find this very funny because I did. <laughs> Z nejakého dôvodu som si myslel, že Prabhupadovi sa to bude veľmi páčiť a, a bude to pokladať za vtipné, pretože ja som to tak pokladal. So I'm just sitting waiting. Takže som tam sedel a čakal. So then Prabhupada looked in. Prabhupada sa pozrel. So I opened up the book. <laughs> Otvoril som knihu. And the words are just coming out of my mouth so fast. A slova začali plynúť z mojich úst tak rýchlo. And it was just I think in the very first page that this big demon he jumps down and there's a fire sacrifice going on. A bolo to myslím, že úplne na prvej strane, keď tam um, vykonávali ohňové obete a tento démon tam skočil. Mm. So he comes down right into the arena. Takže prišiel dolu priamo do arény. And everyone knows what he did. Nikto vie, čo spravil. He showed his genitals. Ukázal svoje genitálie. And he starts urinating right in the fire. A začal močiť ja priamo do ohňa. So I just thought that was hysterical. Funny. Ja som si myslel, tak toto je svetové, je to zábavné. So as I'm getting up to this point to read this, I'm getting just more and more excited. Takže ako som sa blížil už k tomuto bodu, že to budem čítať, tak to bolo pre mňa um, viac a viac zábavné. So I could barely even say the words because I'm just, I'm just waiting to burst open and laugh. A ja som takmer už ani nemohol čítať tie slova, pretože som išiel vypuchnúť smiechom. So then I said it. Tak som to povedal. And as soon as I said it, Prabhupada started laughing and laughing and he's snapping his knee and he's laughing. A hneď ako som to povedal, Prabhupada si začal smiať a smiať a tlieskal si do klien. And then everybody just starts laughing and we're all crying, we're laughing so much. A každý sa začal smiať a tak sa veľmi smiali, že im tiekli slzy. And for some reason I just thought Prabhupada was going to do that. And he did. Z nejakého dôvodu ja som si myslel, že Prabhupada sa takto zachová a on sa naozaj tak zachoval. And I, I never thought for one moment that Prabhupada wouldn't laugh. I just knew he was going to laugh there. I don't know how. Ani na moment som nepochyboval, že Prabhupada sa bude smiať. Ja som to vedel, že sa začne smiať. And he did. A on sa aj smial. So we were all so happy and Prabhupada he was just like just like a little boy. A všetci sme ja sa veľmi smiali a spravopádu sa stal taký malý chlapec. So finally we everyone settled down and Prabhupada stopped and then I went on with the story. Takže nakoniec sa každý už ukludnil a mohol som pokračovať s príbehom. And Prabhupada satisfied everyone. Prabhupada uspokojil každého. He especially satisfied me that day. V ten deň hlavne uspokojil mňa. So then the next day came along. Takže prišiel ďalší deň. And for some reason I didn't pick a story. A z nejakého dôvodu ja som zabudol vybrať príbeh. And we all came in and Prabhupada sat down. Všetci prišli a Prabhupada si sadol. I offered obeisances. Poklonil som sa. So as soon as I sat up, Prabhupada looked at me. Hneď ako som si sadol, Prabhupada na mňa pozrel. And he went, Go on, read. A povedal, môžeš čítať. I immediately got an anxiety. I thought I didn't find the story about a demon. <laughs> a zrazu ja som pocitil úzkosť, nenašiel som si príbeh o démonovi. Because that's all I wanted to do was read demon stories. That was like that was all I wanted to do. Pretože to bolo jediné, čo som chcel čítať, ja príbehy o démonoch. So I started looking in the book. <laughs> Tak som začal hľadať v tej knihe. And I'm trying to find a story about a demon. A snažil som sa nájsť príbeh o démonoch. And Prabhupada said anywhere. A Prabhupada povedal hoci kde. And I looked up at Prabhupada. Ja som sa pozrel na Prabhupadu. He said Krishna is like a sweet ball. A on hovorí Krishna je ako gulička, sladká gulička. He said everywhere you bite is sweet. Kdekoľvek to nie zakusneš, všade je sladká. So I just went to the very next story and I started reading. <laughs> Takže ja som prešiel úplne na ďalší príbeh a začal som čítať. So Prabhupada loved everything about Krishna. Prabhupad miloval všetko o Krišnovi. So this is what every day I was getting to do. I wasn't Prabhupada's servant, but I was with Prabhupada every afternoon. 
Toto som robil každý deň a nebol som ešte prahopadov služobník, ale toto som robil každé popoludne. So then, one day we'd go in and you just never knew what Prabhupad would do. Takže a jedného dňa sme prišli a nikdy sme nevedeli, že čo Prabhupad znova spraví. So one day we're in there and, and Prabhupad, he would always sit, just like you see Prabhupad, he sit so straight. Prabhupad vždy sedel vyrovnaný. But then he sat even straight, more straight. Ale v ten deň sedel ešte vyrovnanejšie. And he pushed his chest out. Vytlačil dopredu hruď. And he's just looking at all us children. Pozeral na nás všetkých, na deti. And he said, go vindam ari purusham tamaham bajami. A povedal. <laughs> looking at Prabhupada. Pozeral na Prabhupadu. And he said, everyone is serving someone. A povedal. Každý niekomu slúži. He said, but our pride is that we are servants of Krishna. A, ale a my slúžime Krišnovi, to je náš taký tribút. He said, that's our pride. To je naša pícha. He said, everyone has to serve. Každý musí slúžiť. He said, some people are serving dog. Niektorí slúžia psom. Some are serving their family. Niektorí svoje rodine their boss. Svojmu šéfovi. He said, but we are servants of Krishna. Ale my sme služobníci Krishna. And he put his chest out again. He said, go vindo mari purusha tamaham budhami. Znova vytlačil hrúď a povedal, go vindo mari purusha. This is what Prabhupada gave us. Imagine. Toto je, čo nám Prabhupada dal. Skúste si to predstaviť. The guru, he gives you Krishna. Guru vám dáva Krishna. He said, It says in um, you know, some sorrow prayers, huh? when one is sincere, Krishna, he sends the guru. And then Srila Prabhupada, what did he do? He just gives you Krishna. That's guru. And you could see Prabhupada, that pride, huh? because everything is there. Videli sme uh, tú pichu v pravom pánovi, pretože všetko tam bolo. Vždy samozrejme povieme, a uh, oddaný je veľmi pokorný. Ale to, na čo máme byť pišní, je to, že slúžime Krišnovi, nikomu inému. Toto robil Šila Prahopá. So, um, Then another day we're in the garden. And this day was even fewer people. We had a special darsha in Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada was sitting on his cushion. Kirtanananda, Swami and myself were there. Bol som tam ja, Kirtananda s vami. Bol tam aj jeden mladý brahmačári. A prišli jeho rodičia. Pretože jeho rodičia pomáhali založiť Prahupádovú záhradu. Oni zaplatili to miesto tam. So they came to see Srila Prabhupada in his garden prišli navštíviť Šilu Prabhupádu v jeho zahrade. Prabhupád was always very, of course, expert with everyone. Prabhupád bol vždy veľ, veľký odborník ku každému. So now when he was, we're sitting there and um, the one devotee introduced him and said, Prabhupád, these people have done help with the garden. Prabhupád tam sedel a niekto a týchto ľudí uviedol. Prahopád, títo ľudia pomohli so záhradou. Ich syn je veľmi mladý brahmačár, má 19-20 rokov. A toto je ich syn, on žije tuto v chráme. So Prahopád looked at the mother and she said, oh, your boy, he is a very nice boy. Prahopád sa pozeral na matku a hovorí jej, tvoj syn je veľmi pekný chlapec. And of course the mother said, yes, I know. <laughs> Samozrejme, matka povedala, áno, viem o tom. 
every mother knows their boy is a very nice boy. And she said, yes, he's very nice. She said, and he was going to college. She says, but now he's left school. And it's nice, she said, he's living in the temple. She said, but he has no ambition. And Prabhupada looked at her. And he said, yes. He said, the devotee has no ambition. He just wants to serve Krishna. And the mother, she was a little surprised at Prabhupada's response. So then Kirtanananda, he was sitting right there. A hneď vedla sedel Kirtananda. And he saw the situation. Videl túto situáciu. So then he said, spoke up. A potom začal hovoriť. And he said, is what Prabhupada means to say is the devotee has no material ambition. A hovorí, a to, čo chce Prabhupada povedať, je to, že oddaný nemá žiadne hmotné ambície. His only ambition is in serving Krishna. Jeho jediná ambícia je služba Krišnovi. And Prabhupada looked at him and he shouted. Prabhupada sa na ňu pozrel a začal kričať. He said, no, he has no ambition. Nie, nemá žiadne ambície. He just wants to do a little service for Krishna. Chce robiť iba maličko služby pre Krišnu. So he corrected his disciple. Takže on napravil svojho žiadka. He said he's not wanting to do some big thing. On nechce robiť nejakú veľkú vec. He just wants to do some humble service for Krishna. Chce robiť nejakú pokornú službu pre Krišnu. So imagine, you go in, every day you go in the garden. Takže predstavte si takto, každý deň sme chodili do záhrady. And every day, every instruction Prabhupada gave you, you could just carry that instruction your whole life. A každý pokyn, ktorý nám Prabhupada dal, sme mohli nieť zo sebou celý život. One day you learned that we were proud to be Krishna's servants. Jedného dňa nás naučil, že môžu byť pyšní na to, že sme Krišnovi služobníci. Ale ďalší deň nás naučil, že nemáme žiadne ambície, že len chceme slúžiť Krišnovi. A mohli sme vidieť všetky tieto kvality v Šila Prahopádovi. A keď sme všetky tieto kvality, tak sme Just like Prabhupada, you could spread Krishna consciousness all around the world. A ak máte takéto vlastnosti, ako šila Prabhupada, tak potom môžete um, rozvíjať Krišna vedomie po celom svete. Because he didn't have one speck of ambition for himself. Pretože nemal ani smietku ambícií sám pre seba. He just wanted to give Krishna to everyone. Chcel dať Krišnu každému. And in every moment, that's what Prabhupada did. A robil to každú chvíľu, každý moment. That's why it says if you just get a moment's association with the pure devotee, your life is a success. Preto sa hovorí, že keď dostanete aj len chvíľočku a spoločnosti čistého oddaného, tak váš život je úspech. Because in every moment Prabhupada was showing us how to be Krishna conscious. Every moment. Pretože v každom momente nám Prabhupada ukazoval, ako byť Krishna vedomý. Hari Sari, you know, when he was here last year, his lecture tour was Srila Prabhupada living Bhagavatam. Takže keď tu bol a Hari Sari minulý rok, tak jeho lekcie začínali tým, že Srila Prabhupada je žijúci Bhagavatam. Because this is the purpose of Srila Bhagavatam is to show us right, how to become Krishna conscious. Pretože toto je účel Srila Bhagavatamu, naučiť nás, ako sa stať Krishna vedomými. So everything Prabhupada did, every movement he made, He showed us how to be a devotee. Takže všetko, čo Prabhupád spravil, každý pohyb, ktorý spravil, ukazoval nám, ako byť ja oddaným. What it meant to be a devotee of Krishna. Čo to znamená byť oddaným Krišnym? So it was at that time I received Brahman initiation from Srila Prabhupada. V tom čase som dostal brahmanské zasvetenie od Srila Prabhupádu. And then I went back to New Vrindavan. A vrátil som sa späť do Nového Vrindavánu.
So then I went back to New Vrindavan and now I was Brahmin. So now my service changed because I was a Brahmin. Now I was put into the kitchen in New Vrindavan. A zmenila sa moja služba, pretože teraz už som bol brahmana, tak ma dali do kuchyne v novom vrindavanie. I became the head cook. Stal som sa vedúcim kuchyne. I was the only cook. Bol som jediným kuchárom. So I was the head cook. Takže som bol vedúcim kuchyne. And I was in the kitchen from very early in the morning, from Mangal Artik until after the last Artik at night. I was in the kitchen cooking and... A v kuchyni som bol o, úplne od rána, od Mangalaraty až po večer. For Radha Vrindavan Chandra. Varil som pre Radha Vrindavan Chandru. And for all the devotees. A pre všetkých oddaných. And um, it was very austere place New Vrindavan. Nový Vrindavan a vtedy bol veľmi asketické miesto. Like here we had, there was a wood burning stove in the kitchen. There was no gas. V kuchyni a bola pec na drevo, nebol tam žiadny plyn. There was no running water in the kitchen. There was a well outside the kitchen. Nečítala tam v kuchyni žiadna voda. Mimo kuchyne vonku bola studňa. So it was a farm, American farm, early American style farm. It was very austere. Bola to farma, farma v skorom americkom štýle. But I was very happy cooking for Radha Vrindavan Chandra. A ja som bol veľmi šťastný, že môžem variť pre Radha Vrindavan Chandra. So June, July, August of 1972. So then in September of 1972, Prabhupada was coming to New Vrindavan. For John Mastami, this was like the third time, it was becoming an annual event, John Mastami in New Vrindavan. Prichádzal na Jamnaštami a bolo to tretí krát, tretie výročie Jamnaštami. And hundreds of devotees would come to New Vrindavan. Stovky oddaných prichádzali do Nového Vrindavanu. So I was very excited. Prabhupada was coming to New Vrindavan. I would get to see him again. A ja som sa veľmi tešil, že znova Prabhupada prichádza do Nového Vrindavanu a znovu ho uvidím. But New Vrindavan is where I lived and did my service. Ale Nový Vrindavan bolo miesto, kde som žil a kde som vykonával svoju službu. So nothing was the way I expected it to be. Takže nič nebolo tak, ako som ja očakával, že to bude. Because now I wasn't cooking for Radha Vrindavan Chandra and 12 devotees. Pretože som um, varil pre Radha Vrindavana Chandra a 12 oddaných. Now I was cooking for 300 devotees. Ale tento krát som mal variť pre 300 oddaných. So I never got to leave the kitchen. Takže nikdy som nemohol odísť z kuchyne. I never got to go on any morning walks. Vôbec sa mi nepodarilo ísť na nejaké rané prechádzky. I didn't get to go to class. Tak tie sa mi nepodarilo ísť na lekciu. I didn't see Prabhupada the whole time he was there. A celý čas, čo tam Prabhupada bol, som ho ani nevidel. And I wasn't happy about it. A vôbec som z toho nebol nadšený. Because I was in the kitchen cooking all the time. Pretože som bol v kuchyni a varil som celý čas. And sometimes my god brothers, they would say, oh, did you see Prabhupada today? A niekedy sa ma spýtali moje duchovní bratia, a ah, videl si dnes Prabhupádu? Počul si tú lekciu, nebola úžasná? And I go, no, I didn't hear it. I'm in the kitchen. A ja som povedal, nie, ja som to nepočul, som v kuchyni. And even in the kitchen I had, because there were so many devotees, I had assistance in the kitchen. A pretože tam bolo toľko oddaných, aj v kuchyni som mal samozrejme pomocníkov. And one of them was young brahmachari from the Vrindavan farm, new Vrindavan farm up on the hill. A jeden z nich bol mladý brahmachari z, Vrinda- z novovrindavanskej farmy, ktorá bola hore na kopci. His name was Radhanath Das Brahmachari. A jeho meno bolo Radhanath Das Brahmachari. He was rolling chapatis for me. A on pre mňa roloval chapaty. And another one was Beer Krishna Das. A ďalší bol Bir Krishnadas. He was cutting vegetables in the kitchen. A on v kuchyni a krajal zeleninu. So see, they had such nice service attitude. A oni mali taký pekný služobnický postoj. So they always tell those stories how they were helping Shruti Kirti in the kitchen in New Vrindavan. A oni vždy rozprávajú tieto príbehy, ako pomáhali Shruta Kirti mu v kuchyni v Novom Vrindavane. So I was feeling very jealous of my God brothers and God sisters. A ja som veľmi žiaril na, žiarlil na svojich duchovných bratov a sestry. So Prabhupada was there for a week 
Pravopád tam bol týždeň. And I never saw him. A ja som ho ani nevidel. So then it was 9 o'clock the night before Prabhupada left New Vrindavan. To bolo 9 hodín, noc predtým, ako Prabhupada mal odísť z Nového Vrindavanu. And Kirtananda came into the kitchen and I'm making milk sweets for Radha Vrindavan Chandra. Kirtananda prišiel do kuchyne a som práve pripravovala mliečne sladkosti pre Radha Vrindavana Chandru. I thought I was indispensable in that kitchen. I was there all the time. A ja som si myslel, že som na nenahraditeľný v tej kuchyni, bol som tam celý čas. Kirtananda prišiel do kuchyne. He said, Do you be a spýtal sa ma, chceš byť pravopádovým služobníkom? Said, yes. <laughs> a ja som povedal, áno. What would anyone say? To by povedal každý, samozrejme. And he said, OK, he said, you'll leave with him tomorrow morning. A on povedal v poriadku, tak zajtra ráno s ním odchádzaš. Said, okay. Som povedal, no dobre. So that's what happened. A tak sa to aj stalo. I became Prabhupada's servant the next morning. Ďalšie ráno som sa stal pravopádovým služobníkom. And I had no idea, no one had any idea. Ani by ma to v živote nenapadlo, nikoho iného by to tiež nenapadlo. But Prabhupada came there from Los Angeles and his servant didn't leave Los Angeles, he stayed there, so he had no servant. A Prabhupada prišiel z Los Angeles a, a s ním neprišiel jeho služovník, pretože musel zostať v Los Angeles. And he looked at me and he said, I told Prabhupada you'll be the best servant he ever had. <laughs> On na mňa pozrel a hovorí, ja som povedal Prabhupadovi, že bude ten najlepší služovník, yeah. akého si kedy mal. Because I told him you'll never leave him. Pretože som mu povedal, že ho nikdy neopustíš. The servants always left him. Pretože jeho služobníci ho vždycky opustili. After one month, after three months, after one year, they were always leaving. Po mesiaci, po troch mesiacoch, po roku vždy nejako odišli. So I just said, okay. <laughs> tak som povedal, no dobre. So then that night, I guess I went to bed that night. I don't remember if I slept. A v tú noc som si išiel láhnuť, ale sa im nespomínal, či som spal. And I packed a little suitcase with a doty or two. Zbalil som si môj malý kufor s jedným alebo dvoma doty. And the next morning at 5 o'clock in the morning, Kirtan Ananda, we went in the car to, it was called the Madhavan farm where Prabhupada stayed. A ďalšie ráno, um, o 5 ráno sme išli do auta, bolo to v Madhuvane, kde Prabhupada zostal, vtedy pobýval. And it was just a very small farmhouse. Bol to veľmi malý a vidiecký dom. And um, we went into Prabhupada's sitting room. Išli sme do Prabhupadovej obývačky. And the room was dark. There was just one small lamp on the table in front of Prabhupada. A celá tá izba bola tmavá, bola tam len jedna malá lampička pred Prabhupadom. And I went in with him and we offered obeisances. Ja som s ním išiel dnu a stali sme pod poklony. So it was all very different than when I was in the garden in Los Angeles. Bola to úplne iná atmosféra, ako keď som bol v záhrade v Los Angeles. And the room was dark and Prabhupada was sitting behind his desk on his asan. Izba bola tmavá, Prabhupada sedel za svojím stolom. And we sat up and Kirtananda said, this is Sruta Kirti, Prabhupada. Stali sme a Kirtananda povedal, Prabhupada, toto je Sruta Kirti. He said he's going to be your servant. Bude tvojim služobníkom. Prabhupada just looked at me. Prabhupada na mňa pozrel. He seemed so grave. Bol veľmi vážny. He wasn't laughing. <laughs> uh, he wasn't laughing. He wasn't laughing. Like, Obec sa nesmiel. Like in the garden in Los Angeles. Obec sa nesmiel. V tej záhrade v Los Angeles bol veľmi vážny. And then he just looked and then Kirtananda said he's a very good cook. Pozrel a vtedy Kirtananda to povedal, je veľmi dobrým kuchárom. But he doesn't know how to massage. Ale nevie masírovať. And Prabhupada looked, he said, anyone can massage. Prabhupada po- pozrel a povedal, každý vie masírovať. And we're just sitting. Tak som tam len sedel. And then Prabhupada said, follow me. Prabhupada povedal, nasledujte. His voice was very deep. Jeho hlas bol veľmi hlboký. And that was little... Again. Again. <laughs> Trochu som mal strach, zasa. 
So Prabhupada grabbed his lota from the floor. Prabhupad zdvihol svoj pohár a zo zeme. And he walked out the door. A išiel von z izby, von z dverí. So I did what I was told. I just followed him. Takže ako mi povedal, nasledoval som ho. And he walked about 10 meters. Prešiel asi 10 metrov. And then he didn't even turn around or look at me. Ani sa neotočil a nepozeral na mňa. He said, wait here. Povedal, tu počkaj. So I just stopped. Tak sa zastavil. <laughs> and Prabhupada walked another 10 or 20 meters. A Prabhupada prešiel ďalších 10 alebo 20 metrov. He went behind the trees. Išiel medzi stromy. With his lota. With his? With his lota. You know lota. lota. So svojou lotou. A poharom. In the bathroom. So he went behind the trees and after a few minutes he came back out with his lota. Išiel a za stromy a po troch minútach sa vrátil so svojou lotou. And then he walked by me and he just handed it to me. Vrátil sa, prišiel ku mne a podal mi ju. He said wash with his hand he went. He said wash this with dirt and water. Ukázal mi s rukou, umy toto a s blatom a vodou. Earth. Je, a so zemou, s, s hlinou a vodou. And then he just walked into his room. A išiel naspäť do svojej izby. So I did what he said. <laughs> tak ja som spravil to, čo mi povedal. So that was my very first service as bola, his personal servant. To bola moja úplne prvá služba ako jeho osobný služobník. Was cleaning his lota after he passed. A to bola vyčistenie um, jeho loty hneď potom, ako ju použil. And this lota was very significant. A ona mala veľký význam. I'll tell you about that another day, maybe. <laughs> Ale to vám poviem niekedy inokedy iný večer. So that was, and I could see now, I was Prabhupada's servant, menial servant. A ja som videl, že vtedy som Prabhupádovým služobníkom. And I had no idea what I was supposed to do. A vôbec som nevedel, čo mám robiť. And the only, because his servant was gone, there was no training. A keďže tam nebol jeho služobník, nedostal som žiadny výcvik. The only thing I was told was, when Prabhupada rings the bell, you go in the room. Jedine, čo mi povedali, bolo to, že keď Prabhupada zazvoní svojim zvončekom, chod do jeho izby. So that was, that was all of my training. To bol celý môj výcvik. So then, right after that, we left New Vrindavan and we went to Pittsburgh, which was just two hours away. Hneď potom sme odišli z Nového Vrindavánu a išli sme do Pittsburghu, ktorý bol vzdialený dva, dve hodiny. Now I know I have to cook for Prabhupada. Som vedel, že mám, musím variť pre Prahopáda. No že ho mám masírovať, ale vôbec som nevedel, ako. A musel som samozrejme odpovedať na tento zvonec. A mal som veľký strach. And I'm all alone now with Prabhupada. I'm gone from New Vrindavan, my home, for a year. A bol som úplne sám s Prahopádom. Odišiel som z môjho domu, z Nového Vrindavánu, na rok. In Pittsburgh, Prabhupada was in the sitting room. A v Pittsburghu bol Prabhupada v svojej obyvačke. And I had nowhere else to stay, so I was staying in what was Prabhupada's bedroom. A keďže som nemal iné miesto, kde by som mohol zostať, ja zostal som v jednej z Prabhupádových spálni. And I'm looking in Prabhupada's suitcase. Pozeral som na Prabhupádov kufor. Because I'm his servant now. I'm just looking at his clothes. <laughs> two three dodies three quarters pretože teraz som jeho služobník tak som si pozrel jeho veci dve tri kurty dve tri doty this very funny looking cooking his cooker a veľmi smiešne vyzerajúci hrniec na varenie sweaters svetre so i'm sitting and i'm looking at prabhupad's things takže som tam sedel a prezeral som si prabhupadove veci and i heard a bell ring a počul som ako zvoní zvonec And immediately I thought, Prabhupada's ringing the bell. Tak hneď ma napadlo, Prabhupada zvoní na zvonec. It was the first time I ever heard Prabhupada ring the bell. Bolo to úplne, krá- úplne prvý krát, čo som počul, ako Prabhupada zvoní na zvonec. And so my heart skipped a beat and I ran into the room. Moje... And I laid down, offered obeisances. Stal som mu poklony. And I, I didn't know, I was still scared. And I said, yes, Prabhupada. A ja som nevedel, čo mám povedať, bol som taký vystrašený, tak hovorím, áno, Prabhupá. So no 
Ani ma nenapadlo, čo by tak pravopak mohol chcieť. And he just looked at me and he smiled. On sa na mňa pozeral, iba sa usmial. He said nothing. <laughs> he said, I just wanted to see how fast you were. Chcem len vidieť, aký si rýchly. He rang the bell, he wanted to see how fast I got in the room. Zazlinil na zvonie, tak chcel iba vedieť, aký som rýchly. And he started laughing. Začal sa smiať. I said, anything else? Spýtal som sa, ešte niečo? And then I felt so happy and Prabhu was laughing again. All my anxiety disappeared. And then I said, is that all? He said, yes. I said, should I go? He said, yes. So then I left. <laughs> so we'll end that here today. That was my first one hour as Prabhupada's personal servant. So I hope everyone had a good time. And we'll meet again, I hope, every day. And I think, um, yes. 10 minutes or so is arty. Myslím, že o 10 minút je arty. And uh, anything else? Ešte niečo? And there's some books I did bring, managed to bring some books. Priniesol som nejaké knihy, ak niekto máte záujem. Možno po arty alebo ďalšie dni. And I'll sign it too for you. A ja vám ich aj podpíšem. So, she, yes. Question. Yeah. Takže otázka. I think I heard that this Radha Vrindavan Chandra were the favorite deities of Shila Prabhupada. Is that right? <laughs> 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 she's from England and she's disagreeing. Yes, I heard that Radha Vrindavan Chandra were the favorite deities of Shila Prabhupada. Is that right? Yes, I heard that Krishna je skutočný Krishna. There is some disagreement amongst the devotees probably Takže existuje nejaké rozpory medzi pravopadovými žiakmi. When I became Prabhupada's servant, Kirtan Ananda gave me a picture of Radha Vrindavan Chandra. Keď som sa stal pravopadovým služobníkom, Kirtan Ananda mi dal obrazok Radha Vrindavan Chandra. In a frame. Zaramovaný. And he said, you put this on the desk everywhere Prabhupada goes. <laughs> he said, and you always tell Prabhupada to come to New Vrindavan. <laughs> he said, I made you Prabhupada's servant, he said, because now I have an inside man. <laughs> So he wasn't giving me away, he was infiltrating Prabhupada. <laughs> he wanted an inside man with Srila Prabhupada. And, and sometimes I was like that. In about five minutes, Jai Mataka Maharaj will be here. Thank you. So, first Bhakti Purushottam Swami and then Jai Mataka Maharaj. So I'm sure everyone will give them a wonderful greeting. A ja som si istý, že všetci im dáte...